We're learning more tonight about the 15-year-old girl who was shot and killed over the weekend in downtown Grand Rapids. New State's Megan Bunchman spoke with her family and shares their message. Family and friends of Lakaja Williams continue to mourn the loss of this 15-year-old girl whose life was taken too soon. I, and I'm just lost, like why? Disbelief still written on the faces and hearts of Lakaja Williams' sisters. It's supposed to be safe. Yeah. Not safe? No. No. Downtown is never safe. Nowhere, if you think about it, nowhere in Grand Rapids is really safe. Like, nowhere. It's everywhere is dangerous. After the 15-year-old girl was shot and killed Saturday night while riding scooters with friends near Studio Park. They literally went down there to have fun. She That's was all. wrong place, wrong time. This is the fourth homicide Grand Rapids has seen this year, and according to Police Chief Eric Winstrom, perhaps the most complicated, as it appears Lakaja was an innocent bystander. Yeah, it sounds to me like she was being a kid. 15 years old, she was born in 2009. That is not so long ago. She's 15, she's on a scooter downtown with her friends, shot by a coward. At like 11.40, we heard the gunshots and we ran. We found Lakaja and that's when I found Lakaja. She was still like right next to the scooters. Lamia Foster says her sister loved basketball, all things fashion and a good joke. She was goofy. Goofy. Very. That's that's what you could describe her as. Very she was she laughed at everything. She yeah. was a happy person, the happiest person I know. Yeah. She made even the darkest times good. Police continue to investigate the shooting. They believe the suspect was on foot when they fired the gun and are asking anyone with more information to contact them or silent observer. Now, this is not a close up shooting. This is a, a shot whether she was the intended target or perhaps a friend that she was with but uh, somebody taking a shot with a gun from a distance, just an evil, evil and, and cowardly thing to do. Lakaja's friends and family also say that she was a great protector of them. Tonight, they're gathering for a private barbecue to share more stories about this 15-year-old. In the newsroom, I'm Megan Bunchman, News 8.